Good morning, everybody. It's currently 11 a.m. It's kind of late. I just had a quick shower. I had breakfast. I need to get a lot of stuff done today, even though I'm quite tired because yesterday I went out with my friends and I came home pretty late. One of the things that I'm most excited for today is that I'm gonna be customizing my keyboard. If you know me, you know I'm a huge matcha tea fan and I just bought the cutest keycap set and I'm gonna customize my keyboard. But first, I need to get some stuff done. My apartment is currently looking like a crazy mess. I kind of neglected the space. Um, it usually doesn't get this bad, but yeah, for some reason, I don't know what happened. <laughs> also, if you're wondering what the hell is going on there in the background, it rained quite a lot last week in Madrid. And so as you can see, there's a leakage from the rooftop and apparently the paint on the rooftop is red and it just looks like a murder someone in my flat. Like it just looks awful. Hopefully I will get it fixed this week. So it's currently 6 p.m. I ran out of space in my memory card in the middle of it, so I had to stop recording for a couple of hours. But in the meantime, I was looking for places to visit in Tokyo because in April I'm gonna be visiting Japan and I am extremely excited about this trip. A year and a half ago I went to Hong Kong and I loved it. It was my first time in Asia, so yeah, I think it's gonna be sick. So I've been actually looking for a bunch of places to visit there and there's like so many museums, so many temples and so many shops. I have a list here of 22 shops and I just got started like half an hour ago. If any of you guys are from Japan or have been there before, please recommend me spots in the comments. I would really appreciate that. And I'm actually going with Liana. You might know Liana from other videos. Uh, she's one of my absolute besties. So we have a call later, um, like kind of like a dinner date to prep the whole trip. <music> everybody um so today i finished my workout quite early so i figured i would show you guys how i customize my keyboard this is a keychron q2 pro with the knob i really really love it but i wanted to customize it to make it feel a bit more like my aesthetic that's why i bought this keycap set from the brand osume this is a brand that creates custom keycaps and this is the matcha set and the colors just match really well with my flat so so that's why I'm going for this color tone. This is my first time actually customizing a keyboard, so bear with me. And then the cool thing is that we also got this special kit of keycaps. It has a bunch of like really cute custom keycaps with a little froggy and the matcha tea. Honestly, the effort that Osume puts in their designs is crazy to me. I just think they're really, really cute. So it turns out that this thing that I'm using to extract the keycaps, you were supposed to open it like that in order to extract them like so. I was doing it wrong all this time. I like yellow switches because I feel like their sound is just a bit more pleasing. I don't know. Can you imagine I used to have like a keyboard with blue switches? The sound was awful.
Honestly, this looks so cute. Why did it take me so long to do this? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna keep it this way for a very long time until I buy the next keycap set. Here is how it looks like on the setup. So I just came back from work. For the ones that don't know it, I work as a software engineer. Today what I'm doing is I'm actually going through my New Year's resolutions. I know what you're thinking, it's literally February, but I think it's super important to revisit your goals and keep track of them over time. Otherwise, like what happens is that you usually just do it for the first few weeks of the year and then you kind of forget about it because you're not keeping track of them. When I tell people that I spend like eight hours working on my New Year's resolutions, they think I'm literally crazy and you probably think I'm crazy as well but let me explain think about it this way so a year has more than 8,000 hours and you're telling me you can't spend eight hours working on your goals it's not about like how much time you actually spend doing this exercise but I think it's just taking time but like real time to reflect on your goals and actually writing them down so if you haven't done your new year's resolutions I would suggest to you that you do them I know it's February it doesn't really matter honestly like you could start in February, you could start in July, you could start in November, like any month, literally, it doesn't matter. It's just a mental thing. Humans just like the idea of like the first day of the year, the first day of the month. If it helps you, just start the first day of the month, the first day of the week. It doesn't really matter. That was a long chat. As I live by myself and there's really not anyone that I can talk to while I'm having dinner, I usually call my mom. It's currently 9.30 p.m. and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Please let me know in the comments below if you enjoy these kind of vlogs. And I always wonder if people actually get to the end of my videos. So if you actually made it to the end of the video, comment an ice cream emoji so I will know that you actually got till the end of the video. Anyways, I hope you have a wholesome day or evening, depending on where you are. And I will see you guys in the next one.